It started here in downtown San Francisco with a handful of tents two months ago and has grown into a functioning community complete with a food station and a library with its caretaker Leo. His story is all too common these days. Well, the bank used a legal loophole to take my house when I'm like 13, you know, like 13 months away from paying it off. So basically they came up and told me, says, thank you for paying it down so far, but we're still taking it. Ryan, a San Francisco native, is one of the organizers of this protest and wants to make sure that the message is heard around the globe. We have power, Wi-Fi, internet connection, word processing, digital cameras, video cameras, we can live stream. Basically, it's how we communicate with the rest of the world. We're able to have this anywhere from line, very autonomous. This is what typical housing looks like for about 200 occupiers here in downtown San Francisco. And I must say, it's actually very cozy. They thought of everything. They have a bed right here a toothbrush beside the bed. They even have extra blankets if it gets cold at night. Here's some candles so they can do reading at night. And they even thought of the midnight snack, a brownie. And if they really do need electricity at some stage, they even have a generator. So these people are ready to stay here for a long, long time until their message gets heard.